welcome to my channel today we will be repainting a wall um, we will be repainting a wall in one of our room upstairs so yeah I'm going to prepare the who is it? let's begin now tape off the areas that aren't being painted using the masking tape You'd be surprised how often amateurs like us ignore this step. What results is a sloppy paint job where paint winds up anywhere where it wasn't intended. If you follow this step, you won't need to worry so much about steady hand. The job will go quicker as well since you aren't slowing down around those areas. You see my t-shirt? Can you read it? What? Please God, if you can't make me thin, make my friends fat. <laughs> it's also very important to protect the floor by putting some plastic or newspapers. We are going to use this. Acritex Top Coat Semi-Gloss. It's also wise to move any furniture away from the area where you are painting. Dust and clean the walls. You can use damp cloth or a vacuum cleaner. The paint should be stirred. We use a stirrer, which I will do. But first, I will <coughs> shake it, babe. Come on. Always stir the paint before use. It's generally a very good idea with most paints. It makes sure that everything is homogeneous. It mixes in the little bit of solvent or water that might have separated at the top. Make a W like that, like Walter, and then you start rolling. You make it an S, make sure. Uh, of course, roller is better. You see? Careful. Paint my room. You could paint my room. To repair the yellow spots Gets dry easily huh? Gets dry easily Is there is no guarantee the painting is easy when my world is falling apart when there's no light or break of the dark that's when I, I, I'll tell you.
The spots are gone. It's all white now. I still have to reinstall the room. You're done. Let me show you around at one of the four bedrooms we have on the second floor that we just repainted. This room is a 40 square meter. It has a very cozy living area with an amazing view. It also has a bathroom and suite. And this is the wall we just repainted. The king size bed with a first class mattress, a 300 plus plus thread count bed linens, makes you want to sleep forever. Of course, the room has an aircon as well as a ceiling fan and a large sliding doors to a huge balcony with fantastic sunrises and sea views.